everyone. This is Tomali Haldar over here, your geography educator at Education. Today's class, what we are going to do is that we are going to deviate from your contents of your class 11 NCRT book and we are going to delve into a, another new topic which is equally important for both your UPSC and, and your UGC and GRF examination. So, without any delay, let us begin with. So, today's topic is going to be corals. Ye coral kya hai? Aaj hum janenge aur isme kya kya questions aa sakte hai? Possible questions kya kya aa sakte hai? Wo hum aaj discuss karenge. Okay. We are going to begin the class with the anatomy or rather the structure of a coral. Hume to ye pata hai ki under the sea we get a type of a rock which is of different color. But how is that rock suddenly formed? That too under the sea or that too under the marine environment that is very important. Alright. Now, all of you pay attention. For everything to form, there is a proper step or there is ra ra rather a proper cycle. Same thing follows over here as well. A coral formation, a coral formation always takes place with the help of a marine sea organism. ठीक है? ये जो coral का basis है, वो marine sea organism वो form करता है. ठीक है? पहले एक चीज बता दूँ. ये जो coral एक है, एक a type of a rock, it is formed from an invertebrate marine animals. Invertebrate means उनका spine नहीं है. जिनका spine होता है वो हम उसे vertebrate marine animals या फिर vertebrate animals बोलते हैं. So over here the corals which are formed from a type of an animal that we will discuss or rather the marine animal that doesn't have any spine. So corals, the source of the coral is from an invertebrate marine animal, right? Now how is the coral forming? The coral is forming with the first with the help of an invertebrate marine animals. Next up what happens is that the shape of the coral is like a shape of a polyp. The shape of a coral is rather the shape of a polyp and polyp is nothing but this marine animal which is like a sea animal or like a jellyfish. Okay? It's a marine animal. Now what is the speciality of this polyp? What happens is that in this, in this water body, in, in the water bodies where the corals are forming, it is seen that there is calcium, right, which is getting mixed up with the carbon in the water body. Forget about polyps and forget about invertebrate marine animals. In the sea, in the ocean environment, what is happening? There is calcium and then there is carbon, right? Ca and C, calcium and carbon. What the polyps are doing or rather the invertebrate marine animals, what they are doing is that the polyps are sucking the calcium and the carbon from the sea environment into their body. Okay? So, polyp mein abhi kya ho gaya? Ki carbon or calcium ghus gaya. Right? Now, why is that entering and what is the structure that is helping in the formation of the coral? All of you look at the tentacles, the word tentacles. Aapne octopus dekha hi hoga? Octopus ke hum feet ko ya hands ko hum tentacles bolte hai. Kyunki with the help of these tentacles, it kills its prey and it eats the food. Same thing happens over here. The structure of the coral is like a shape of a polyp, which is like a vast like structure. First of all and second of all, it has tentacles. What do the tentacles do? The tentacles help in catching the organisms and helps in providing food to the polyps. First, within the, this is very important, within the tentacles lies this structure. The open end of the polyp has a mouth surrounded by a circularly placed tentacles. The polyp, the, op, the mouth or rather the opening, aapko yaad hai volcano ka mouth ya phir volcano ke opening se kya hota hai, magma bahar ke nikal ke aata hai, same thing happens over here. So the tentacles are coming out from the mouth of a polyp, right? What happens is that the tentacles, they help in sucking the organisms and in these tentacles, one can find the nematocysts. And these nematocysts are actually providing that support to the tentacles. Alright. One more thing is very important. That we are talking about that the calcium and the carbon which is present in the sea water is getting sucked by the polyp. So now the polyp which is an invertebrate marine animal is having the calcium and the carbon within it. First point. Second point what is happening is that this coral formation, this coral formation is very much dependent on another thing another thing now over here what is happening the polyp is a marine animal right polyp is a marine animal this polyp or a marine animal is having a very good relationship a very symbiotic relationship with another organism which we call zoo oxanthile this zoo oxanthile is nothing but an algae algae aapka plant hota hai so ek aapka ho gaya marine animal polyp jo depend kar raha hai single celled algae ya fir plant ke upar jise hum zoo oxanthile bolte hai now your question is where is this zooxanthellae is coming from? What the marine biologists found out was that look at the second diagram which is given in 
blue color the zooxanthellae which is a single celled algae plant is found inside the tentacles of the polyp ye polyp paida nahi kar raha hai zooxanthellae ko zooxanthellae alag se dikhne ko mil raha hai now what happens is that when there is a very good dependable relationship between the two species that relationship is called symbiosis right that's sorry that phenomena is called symbiosis and the relationship is called symbiotic relationship so here in the coral formation one can find symbiotic relationship between the polyps not corals we have not come to the formation of coral symbiotic relationship between the polyp and the zooxanthellae now how is it happening polyp is your marine animal right what is the polyp or the marine animal doing the polyp or the marine animal is giving shelter to the zooxanthellae wo bol raha hai ki mere paas to tentacles hai to mere beech mein aake reh jao main tumhe shelter provide kar dunga tumhe koi nahi khayega so that is polyp is doing as a marine animal second of all what is doing it's a marine animal to it will take up oxygen and release the carbon dioxide so that carbon dioxide is then taken up by this zooxanthellae algae to uska kya fayda hai that ye to plant hai right in the presence of sunlight this zooxanthellae which is a single celled algae it starts photosynthesizing and produces the food that food in turn is taken up by the polyp theek hai to polyp ke andar khana ja raha hai jo zooxanthellae produce kar raha hai उसके ऊपर कैल्शियम और कार्बन पानी से उसके भीतर जा रहा है सो द पॉलिप इज बिकमिंग वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग दैट इज वाई द बेस ऑफ द पॉलिप इज मेड ऑफ वॉट वी कॉल द कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट आपको दिखेगा दैट द बेस ऑफ द डाउनवर्ड पोर्शन इज फॉर्म ऑफ द कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट द पॉलिप हैज इंजेस्टेड द फूड प्रोड्यूस बाय द जो ऑक्सन थे एंड देन इट इंजेस्ट द कैल्शियम एंड द कार्बन फ्रॉम द सी एनवायरमेंट इन टू इट्स वाटर बॉडी देयर बाई वॉट इट डज इट कीप्स ऑन बिल्डिंग इट्स और रैदर स्ट्रेंदनिंग इट्स सॉफ्ट बॉडी पॉलिप एक बहुत ही पतला सॉफ्ट मतलब मरीन एनिमल है ठीक है हाउ इट हेल्प्स इन कोरल फॉर्मेशन आप मेरा उंगली देखिए ये एक पॉलिप हो गया इस पॉलिप के अंदर भरपूर फूड है दैट द जू ऑक्सन थे हैज फॉर्म एंड इट इज ऑल्सो हैविंग टू मच अमाउंट ऑफ कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट बट दिस इज जस्ट वन पतला पॉलिप हाउ कैन इट फॉर्म कोरल्स दैट आई शोड यू इन द फर्स्ट इमेज वेन यू स्टार्ट द क्लास वॉट हैपन्स द टेंडेंसी ऑफ द पॉलिप इज टू लीव इन कॉलोनी एक पॉलिप आ गया उसके बगल में एक और पॉलिप आ गया उसके बगल में एक और पॉलिप आ गया सो वॉट हैपन्स दे लीव इन कॉलोनीज now these are very much alive as these are invertebrate marine animals they will die they will have a life cycle so one polyp dies the one polyp dies and it goes down with calcium carbonate in it, in it. another polyp which is still surviving give it time again it dies down and another level of calcium carbonate forms on it then the third number polyp again it dies down after some millions of years and it deposits the calcium carbonate over it so don't you think three layers of कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट एज फॉर्म फर्स्ट लेयर सेकेंड लेयर थर्ड लेयर और अगर आपको याद है रॉक्स के चैप्टर से कैलकेरियस सेडिमेंटरी रॉक्स दो टाइप ऑफ सेडिमेंटरी रॉक्स विच विच कंटेंस कैल्शियम नाउ व्हाई एम आई सडनली टॉकिंग अबाउट सेडिमेंटरी रॉक्स सेडिमेंटरी रॉक्स आर दो टाइप ऑफ रॉक्स विच आर प्रोड्यूस बाय द डिपोजिशन ऑफ द सेडिमेंट्स बाय वेंड ग्लेशियर रिवर रेन वाटर तो यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है द मरीन और द सी वाटर इज एक्चुअली हेल्पिंग द पॉलिप्स टू डिपॉजिट इट्स कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट लेयर वन बाई वन सो वन लेयर ऑफ कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट इज फॉलोड बाई अनदर लेयर ऑफ कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट विच इज फॉलोड बाई अनदर लेयर ऑफ कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट सो डोंट यू थिंक लेयर्स ऑफ रॉक्स हैव फॉर्म राइट और रैदर वन रॉक इज फॉर्म विथ थ्री लेयर्स सो एंड दिस ओवर टाइम हार्ड एंड द रॉक क्योंकि वो तो मतलब ग्रेविटेशनल प्रेशर पड़ रहा है अगर आपको याद है लिथिफिकेशन हो रहा है ठीक है पानी बाहर निकल के आ रहा है सो इट हार्ड एंड सिंटू अ रॉक बट इट कंटेंट्स कैल्शियम सो दिस टाइप ऑफ रॉक इज नथिंग बट अ कैलकेरियस सेडिमेंट्री रॉक एंड इट प्रोड्यूसेस और रैदर गिव्स राइज टू वॉट वी कॉल कोरल ठीक है तो जो शुरू हमने डिस्कशन किया था वो पॉलिप से हमने किया था सेवरल अदर प्रोसेस एट लास्ट इट लेड टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ अ कोरल ठीक है जब वो कोरल एक कोरल एक हार्ड रॉक बन गया right but it has to cover a large area when the coral starts on building starts on building and covers the large area then it forms what we call coral reef c o r a l then r w e f so the first the process is the formation of the polyp followed by the formation of coral and then the formation of coral reef so all these words which i have colored in different colors please pay attention to it because you might get questions based on this because you might be asked uh, name of the cells which are or the rather the cells which are found in tentacles which are a source of food and you are being given options your answer must be nematocysts then your qu uh, question can be uh, the symbiotic relationship uh, between the coral and the dash then you are given options uh, polyps uh, b is tentacle c is nematocyst d is zooxanthellae your answer should be zooxanthellae
acha why am i showing you this image this image is very important because on the basis of this we are going to identify that in very in different parts of the world one can get the corals now this image is nothing but depicting the temperature or rather the heat zones of the earth ab dekh lo do words hai direct sunlight and low angle of incoming sunlight direct sunlight is nothing but the vertical sun rays which are falling on the equator equator is your latitude which is marked in 0 degree passing through the middle of the earth aap equator ka dotted line dekh sakte ho the equator the dotted line is passing through the middle of the earth this one right and on this latitude the area receives the direct or the vertical rays of the sun as one moves away from the equator towards the north pole or the south pole one receives very oblique or very slanting or very low angle of incoming sunlight iska matlab although the direct sunlight light captures a very smaller area it intensely heats that area so equator gets tremendously heated up because of the direct rays of the sun from the sun north pole and south pole receives the most oblique or the most slanting rays of the sun that means these oblique sun rays they might occupy a large area in north pole or south pole but their intensity of radiation is very low that is why the north pole and south pole is perpetually or continuously covered with ice cover right now how is it helpful now look at the zones the word zone is given in between two latitudes you will get one particular zone that is between tropic of cancer latitude the horizon consider the horizontal lines in between tropic of cancer that is 23 and a half degree north and 23 and a half degree south you can see that zone is colored with light green color that zone is relatively getting more direct rays of the sun so that zone is called the torrid zone then the more we go away from the torrid zone the rays of the sunlight falls down so hum karenge factors due to the formation of the corals this is the point always remember corals need corals need warm temperature corals need warm temperature aur aap dekh lo warm temperature use kahan pe milega torrid zone the temperate zone or the frigid zone obviously torrid zone that is bounded within the tropics tropics ka matlab either tropic of cancer 23 and a half degree north इक्वेटर के ऊपर या फिर ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैप्रिकॉन मार्क्ड बाय 23 एंड अ हाफ डिग्री साउथ व्हाट देयर देयर इज अ टेंपरेचर व्हिच एक्चुअली सपोर्ट्स द ग्रोथ ऑफ द कोरल बिकॉज़ इट इज बीइंग सीन बाय द मरीन बायोलॉजिस्ट्स दैट द कोरल्स कैन नॉट सरवाइव इन कोल्ड वेदर कंडीशंस और नाइदर कैन दे सरवाइव इन हॉट वेदर कंडीशंस बट दे कैन सरवाइव इन अ टेंपरेचर व्हिच व्हिच द टॉरिड जोन इज प्रोवाइडिंग राइट और द ट्रॉपिकल एरिया इज प्रोवाइडिंग so the coral polyps since the the requirement of the temperature varies from 20 degree to 30 degree celsius so it can be said that the coral polyps or rather the corals are found in torrid zone or in tropical area now look at the second point they need sufficient sunlight and live at depths of 45 to 55 meters why do they need sufficient sunlight because you remember coral is having a very symbiotic relationship or rather the polyp is having a symbiotic relationship with the plant or the algae rather specifically algae called the zooxanthellae agar zooxanthellae wo to photosynthesis karta hai food matlab produce karta hai coral ke liye to agar wo zooxanthellae ko sunlight nahi milta hai to how can the polyp survive and how will the coral form right so the formation of the coral actually needs the formation of sunlight or that sunlight is actually for zooxanthellae to produce the food and supply it to the polyp all right third point polyps thrive well in clear salt water abhi iska matlab ye hai ki a type of a water where there is neither too low salt water content like in glaciated water or there is not too much salt content as found in the delta region glacial pani mein kya hota hai the ice melts and it gives rise to the water but that water has very less mineral nutrients and that is also not good for the polyps because it is totally devoid of mineral nutrients and also because it is having a very low temperature which it can cannot sustain the polyps second of all the polyps they cannot grow in too much salt water area like for example the lagoon or in the delta region why not in the delta region because what happens in the delta the river comes and meets the ocean and that and that junction where the river is depositing the sediments over there is the delta is forming but when the river is depositing the sediments don't you think the nutrients too much amount of nutrients or too much amount of salt can get deposited so that will not become conducive for the corals to form as stated in the third point right it is also written that they do not live in dirty water or rather the muddy water kya hota hai ki polyps ka jo opening hai which is characterized by the 
tentacles what happens is that if there is muddy water the mud clogs or rather blocks the tentacles and the polyps are not able to breed it kills the polyps so that is why the polyps want to grow in the dirty, dirty or the muddy water fourth point is already done that it want to grow in the delta region because too much amount of sediment is there fifth one an adequate supply of oxygen and microscopic marine plants known as plankton is essential for its existence and growth this plankton is nothing but the zooxanthellae which we have discussed supply of oxygen to is very much important how will the polyp which is a marine animal will survive without the oxygen and who will provide that oxygen zooxanthellae with the help of sunlight it produces food and that food is then supplied to the polyp which then forms coral so for the corals to form you need to have zooxanthellae otherwise it cannot survive all right so these are the points that we have discussed so far and i found this question to be very useful let's see if you people are able to do it or not uh, it came in the year 2018 consider the following statements most of the world's coral reefs are found in tropical water which we did right now because it needs a optimum temperature of 22 32 degree 30 degree celsius which it gets in tropical regions or the torrid region तो मेरा फर्स्ट वाला पॉइंट तो एकदम ही करेक्ट है ठीक है सेकंड वाला मोर देन वन थर्ड ऑफ दी वर्ल्ड कोरल रीफ्स आर लोकेटेड इन दिस टेरिटरीज विच इज यस इट इज फाउंड इन दिस रीजन आई शो यू द वर्ल्ड मैप इट विल गेट इवन मोर क्लियर बिकॉज दिस ऑस्ट्रेलिया इंडोनेशियन फिलीपाइंस दे लाइन सच एरिया वेयर दर इज ट्रॉपिकल वाटर दैट इज वाई मोर देन वन थर्ड ऑफ दी वर्ल्ड कोरल रीफ आर फाउंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर एरिया सो इट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट थर्ड वन कोरल रीफ होस्ट मतलब शेल्टर देता है फार मोर नंबर ऑफ एनिमल फाइला एनिमल फाइला नथिंग बट द मोलास्क देन द सी क्रस्टेशियंस दैट आर लाइंग इनसाइड द सी वाटर आपने कभी देखा है जो छोटा छोटा फिश uh, या फिर क्लाउन फिश कोरल रिफ के अंदर घुस जाता है बिकॉज द कोरल रिफ प्रोवाइड शेल्टर टू इट सो विद इन द कोरल रिफ इफ यू कैन गो डाइव इन टू द सी वाटर इफ यू गो फॉर स्कूबा डाइविंग यू वुड सी स्मॉल स्मॉल छोटा छोटा फिशेज और द सी एनिमल्स इन साइड देयर बिकॉज द रिफ्स प्रोवाइड शेल्टर ओके so this is the third point is also correct so i think if we consider 1 2 3 and 4 the fourth one is correct your fourth one will be the answer all right now let's talk about this one another question which among the following are called the rain forests of the ocean and the answer will be corals the answer will be corals because in the ocean we can get various diversity or various species of the corals with different colors which provides shelter to different animals what do the rain forests in the equatorial region do the different the dense tree cover is not only characterized by different diversity but it provides shelter or it acts as a source of food for various species so does the corals just like we did 2 uh, 3 minutes ago that it provides shelter to various animals right so that is why coral is called the rainforest of the ocean all right now what we are going to do in the coming slides is that we are going to talk about the different type of the coral reefs different type of the coral reefs based on its location based on its location ye pehla wala dekho पहले वाला देखो देर इज अ लैंड देर इज अ वाटर बॉडी ठीक है नाउ यू कैन सी अ रीफ हैज फॉर्म रीफ मीन्स वेन अ कोरल इज फॉर्मिंग ओवर एन एक्सटेंसिव एरिया दैट इज फॉर्मिंग द रीफ नाउ वाई इज इट कॉल्ड फ्रिंजिंग रीफ फ्रिंजिंग रीफ द वर्ड कम्स फ्रॉम फ्रिंज एफ आर आई एन जी ई एज ऑन द एज ऑफ समथिंग सो इफ दिस इज अ लैंड इफ दिस इज जस्ट द लैंड दिस इज द एज ऑफ द लैंड सो जस्ट अटैच टू इट इफ एनी कोरल कम्स ऑफ दैट इज कॉल्ड अ फ्रिंजिंग रीफ okay so that is the thing over here this type of coral reef has formed just being attached to the land mass but it is situated both between the land and the sea right now yeah. barrier reef look at this one don't you think that the reef has formed somewhat at a larger distance away from the land somewhat at a larger distance away from the land so when it has formed at a larger distance away from the land what happens some water has come in between the reef and the land which was not there in fringing reef sometimes what happens in fringing reefs you know in fringing reef and land what happens if there is a scope some water do enter some water do enter and it forms a very narrow channel it forms a very narrow channel but in barrier reef there is a guarantee that some portion of the water or more amount of water in comparison to the fringing reef will get there between the land and the reef right so a shallow lagoon is formed a lagoon is nothing but a half enclosed water body ye fully enclosed nahi hota hai partially enclosed hota hai theek hai so this type of reef is called the barrier reef right the classic example of the barrier reef is the great barrier reef which one can find on the north eastern coast of australia please look into the extension in terms of the length and the width is very important you might get that that as an mcq okay
and the last type of the coral reef is the atoll and atoll is always formed in a volcanic region abhi tak to pata chal gaya hi hoga ki volcanic eruption ke dwara kaise island hota hai when there is too much amount of accumulation of the volcanic materials over a period of time it can lead to the building up of the volcanic material and if it is surrounded by the water body it forms an island so a volcanic island is nothing but an island made up of volcanic materials we will start with the first left corner image the volcanic island has formed right a volcanic island island has formed with the volcanic eruption second step what happens look at the right side first image what happens surrounding the island the coral the coral reef can form if the climate is conducive because if it is getting clear salt water if it is getting proper temperature if zoo of sanfili is there then the corals can form right corals can form and the corals are given in light brownish color so the corals are forming attaching with the volcanic island now one more question to you people why do you think the corals always have to attach with the land look at the barrier reef also why are they attaching with the the why are this attaching with the land apne aap se imagine karo why is our feet attached on the land because if it would, wouldn't have been attached on the land don't you think we would have fallen down same thing happens over here the reefs they need a suitable platform or rather a stable platform agar platform hi nahi hai for example this is a land on the land the coral is forming or the coral reef is forming if the land is only not there how can the reef form the reef cannot form so for the reef formation you need to have a suitable platform or a stable platform theek hai now look at the third image on the left hand side this is the volcanic island if this is the volcanic island or isko ghir ke agar coral reef starts forming don't you think if too much amount of coral reef will forming it will put pressure iska height yahan par yahan tak tha the coral reefs have started building up on the volcanic island don't you think too much amount of coral reef will put pressure and when it puts pressure it will put the pressure in such a manner that now the volcanic island will subside down give it time give time for the coral reef to build up on the volcanic island so too much amount of hold on ha huh. this is the coral reef again another batch of coral you won't be able to see this layer because it is getting subsided down, right what happens in that is that over a period of time wo to ghir ke rakha tha ek ring like structure mein jaise volcanic agar ye volcanic island hai isko ghir ke coral reef tha in a ring like structure a ring is like a circular shape so agar ye coral island hi niche chala jata hai to upar to ek ring like coral structure reh jata hai so that remaining ring like coral structure is nothing but the atoll to read the image along with the study the image along with the write ups over here हॉटस्पॉट मत जहां से मैग्मा बाहर निकल के आ रहा है एंड दिस हॉटस्पॉट वन कैन फाइंड इन डाइवर्जेंट ट्रेड मूवमेंट ओके सो फर्स्ट अ वॉल्कैनिक आइलैंड इज फॉर्म ठीक है हो गया सेकंड ऑफ ऑल वॉल्कैनिक आइलैंड को घेर के कोरल रिंग्स फॉर्म होना शुरू कर रहा है डिपेंडिंग ऑन द कंडूसिव जोग्राफिकल फैक्टर्स थर्ड इफ टू मच अमाउंट ऑफ कोरल रिंग्स बिल्ड अप एनसर्कलिंग एनसर्कलिंग द वॉल्कैनिक आइलैंड देन टू मच प्रेशर बिल्ड्स ऑन वॉल्कैनिक आइलैंड द वॉल्कैनिक आइलैंड कैन गो डाउन So if the volcanic island totally collapses or sinks down, don't you think that in the fourth step, as depicted, the ring-like coral reef structure it remains? So that ring-like coral reef structure is nothing but what we call the atoll. So atoll is always formed in a volcanic area. ये इंडिया में कहाँ पे पाया जा सकता है? अब कांदवान और निकोबार आइलैंड एक्टिव वॉल्केनो, so one can find atolls over there. Also in the Pacific Ocean because Pacific Ocean में volcanic eruptions होता है. अतः now that the atoll volcanic formation एक बंदे ने दिया था वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ द बंदा रीड द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन दिस डार्विडेंस थियरी सब्सिडेंस मतलब नीचे जाना इज रिलेटेड टू वॉट योर आंसर इज कोरल रीफ लुक एट द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन ऑल कोरल रीफ बिगन एज फ्रिंज रीफ अराउंड एन आईलैंड फ्रिंज मतलब क्या एकदम उससे अटैच फर्स्ट वाला ये सेकेंड वाला डायग्राम देखो ये तो फ्रिंजिंग रीफ ही तो है दट कोरल रीफ विच हेज फॉर्म जस्ट अटैच टू द लैंड मार्स जस्ट अटैच टू द लैंड मार्स सो obviously it has formed starting with the fringing reef then it become a barrier reef and then it became an atoll right so this theory has been given by darwin so we call it a darwin's subsidence theory look at the answers you might get questions like this okay i think putting this three images together will help you to understand even far more better the, as i told you like darwin told that the first the formation starts with fringing reef then barrier reef then atoll abhi i i think it might become clearer to you question what type of corals are found very close to the land and forms a shallow lagoon known as boat channel known as boat channel 
अच्छा दिस अ वेरी शैलो लगून एंड वेरी क्लोज टू लैंड यहाँ यहीं पे दो मतलब ऑपोजिट चीज बोला जा रहा है एक बोला जा रहा है शैलो लगून ऊपर से बोला जा रहा है क्लोज टू लैंड वेरी क्लोज टू लैंड सो वेरी क्लोज टू लैंड यू लुक इन टू दिस थ्री इमेजेस विच वन इज वेरी क्लोज टू लैंड फ्रिंजिंग रिफ सेकेंड वाला बताया गया था शैलो लगून शैलो लगून तो ये लगून तो फ्रिंजिंग रिफ में नहीं पाया गया पाया जा रहा है बट द लगून इज फॉर्म इन बैरियर रिफ एंड इज फॉर्म इन एटोल एटोल में तो हो ही नहीं सकता आइर आंसर फ्रिंजिंग या फिर बैरियर रीफ होगा यही पे एक ट्रिक है टू वर्ड्स है वेरी क्लोज टू द लैंड एंड वेरी शैलो लगून वॉट हैपन्स यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वेरी क्लोज टू लैंड हु इज वेरी क्लोज टू लैंड द फ्रिंजिंग रीफ राइट वेर इज द शैलो लगून द लगून इज देर इन बैरियर रीफ बट आई टोल्ड यू इन फ्रिंजिंग रीफ देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी दैट अ नैरो वाटर बॉडी और अ नैरो चैनल ऑफ वाटर बॉडी कैन फॉर्म बिटवीन द रीफ एंड लैंड सो योर आंसर यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम दिस ट्रिक्स योर आंसर विल बी नंबर टू दैट इज फ्रिंजिंग रीफ ऑल राइट अच्छा जैसे मैंने आपको बताया कि आई शो यू अ मैप रिगार्डिंग वेर इज द लोकेशन ऑफ दिस कोरल रीफ्स नाउ लुक एट द डाउन पोर्शन यू वुड कम अक्रॉस वन थिंग दैट इज अ ब्लैक लाइन एंड इज रिटर्न रेस्ट्रिक्टेड ट्वेंटी वन डिग्री सेल्सियस आइजोथम आइजोथम मतलब इमेजिनली लाइन ज्वाइनिंग प्लेसेस हैविंग इक्वल टेम्परेचर मतलब यहाँ पे बोला जा रहा है कि ट्वेंटी वन डिग्री सेल्सियस को छोड़ के ज्यादा कोरल्स पाया नहीं जाता है. 21 डिग्री सेल्सियस का जो टेम्परेचर है अगर उसका लिमिट क्रॉस कर गया ओवर देयर वो पीपल वोट गेट एनी कोरल और रादर लेस देन 21 डिग्री सेल्सियस आल्सो पीपल वोट गेट एनी कोरल बिकॉज इट मींस एन ऑप्टिमम टेम्परेचर वार्म टेम्परेचर नाइदर टू हॉट नाइदर टू कोल्ड राइट एंड यू कैन सी दैट आर टू वर्ड्स रिटर्न इंडियन एंड द पैसिफिक ओशन बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ द कोरल्स आर आइर फॉर्म इन द पैसिफिक ओशन ये वाला पोर्शन और दे आर फॉर्म क्लोज टू द इंडियन ओशन ठीक है पार्ट्स ऑफ इंडियन ओशन और द ईस्टर्न कोस्ट ऑफ अफ्रीका अच्छा इंडिया में कहाँ कहाँ पाया जाता है यू हैव गल्फ ऑफ कच यू हैव लक्षदीप आइलैंड्स यू हैव गल्फ ऑफ मन्नार यू हैव पार्क स्ट्रेट यू हैव अंदमान आइलैंड्स यू हैव निकोबार आइलैंड्स राइट टू थिंग्स आपका लक्षदीप एंड अंदमान एंड निकोबार आइलैंड में आपका एटॉल पाया जाता है दैट्स अ गिवन थिंग इफ यू इफ यू आर आस्ट दैट नेम टू प्लेस इन इंडिया विच रिप्रेजेंट्स द एटोल रिप्स इन इंडिया यूर आंसर शुड बी लक्षदीप आइलैंड्स एंड अंदमान एंड निकोबार आइलैंड्स और एनी टू प्लेसेज इन इंडिया विच एज फ्रिंजिंग रीफ गल्फ ऑफ कच गल्फ ऑफ मन्नार या फिर पार्क स्टेट ठीक है एंड ऑल दीज आर वाटर बॉडीज बाई द वे लक्षदीप आइलैंड इज एन आईलैंड आईलैंड मतलब उसको घिर के कोरल रीफ आएगा डार्विन का सब्सिडेंस थियोरी मतलब ही अटॉल तो लक्षदीप आइलैंड और आंदमान एंड निकोबार आइलैंड में आपको अटॉल पाया जाता है अच्छा दिस इज द लास्ट पोर्शन कोरल ब्लीचिंग डू विजिट पार्लर राइट दे ब्लीच दियर स्किन Bleach their skin means uh, something a dark patch has formed, and they tell the uh, parlor person that you do the bleaching so that at least the dark patches get removed, and it will look much more better than the previous portion. So what happens over here? Why am I talking about that? As I told you that zoo oxen thile is a very important single celled algae or the plant which is found inside the coral, which is having a symbiotic relationship with the polyp, and which in turn is helping the formation of the coral. Now what is happening? Because of the rise in temperature, the water temperature is also rising more than twenty-one degrees Celsius, right? Much amount of temperature in the water. Don't you think will cause stress to the polyps? Because the polyps are what to say are adjusted to that particular temperature. Now, if they get too much amount of temperature, they will feel that stress. They will feel that anxiety, right? So when they feel feel that stress, when they will feel that anxiety. Don't you think that they won't be able to do that symbiotic relationship, or rather, have a symbiotic relationship with the zoo oxen thile? So the zoo oxen thile inside the polyps they keep on dying. So if it keeps on dying, what will happen? It will no more produce food for the polyps. So if the polyps can't have a source of food, they will also slowly die. So the color of the coral starts bleaching. It becomes very whitish in nature. Corals are of different color, pink, red, green. But here it becomes. Look at the third diagram. It becomes completely white because the there is a devoid or there is dirt or there is absence of the single celled algae that is called zooxanthellae from the polyps, which was providing a source of food, but is no more providing a source of food. Why? Because of owing to the greenhouse effect and owing to the global warming. Mostly the global warming, the temperature, the average temperature of the ocean water is rising so much that the polyps, or rather the zooxanthellae, is not able to adjust with that such high rise in temperature, for which there is a bleach or the lack of color in the coral, and therefore the corals die. Now, why is it very important to talk about the death of the corals? As we told you, 
the corals they provide the stability to an ecosystem by providing shelter by providing shelter to various organisms it helps in maintaining the food web and the food chain in an ecosystem it is a source of tourism great barrier reef jo australia mein hai wahan pe log dekhne ke the people flock to that area to see that particular thing it's a source of income tourism is a source of income now if the corals are not there who will go to see over there who will revive the tourism economy so not only there is a death of the ecosystem but there is also the death of the economy especially in the tourism sector who are going to going to that place and visiting that corals so that is the biggest problem that one must like take care of all right uh, so that is it i end it over here thank you we meet again next time with an, yet another interesting topic